Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we'll be doing the performance testing of three compact flagship devices. We have the Vivo X200 FE, OnePlus 13S and Xiaomi 15. So these are three compact flagship devices with kind of different hardware, uh, although there are some similarities as well. Now let's go to the about phone on uh, these three devices. So about device and uh, here we have uh, the Dimensity 9300 plus octa-core processor on this device with uh, 12 gigabyte ram and android 15 font touch os 15 lpddr5x ram ufs 3.1 now here we have the qualcomm snapdragon 8 elite and uh, 12 gigs of ram and android 15 oxygen os 15 lpddr5x ram and ufs 4.0 now here we have uh, xiaomi 15 or rather uh, xiaomi 15 and then uh, you get uh, the qualcomm uh, snapdragon uh, uh, 8 elite 12 gigs of ram android 15 and uh, hyper os uh, 2.0 and uh, you get um, lpd 5x ram and ufs uh, 4.0 so that's the hardware of these devices so we have uh, uh, you can see here we are just enabling the airplane mode on the, all the devices so there you go uh, we have enabled airplane mode and all the three devices have 100 percentage battery right now so let's start off the performance testing with um, the cpu throttling test so we have the cpu throttling app here so let's just uh, check uh, the temperature of all the three devices so 31.2 uh, then uh, here we have around 29 30 degrees then here also we have around 29 degrees so uh, you can see here 30 degrees almost 30 degrees now uh, so you can just average out it at uh, around 29 to 30 degrees so that's the temperature right now so we have fan running in this room so we don't have any ac running right now so we'll have the uh, fan running and uh, and uh, the room temperature here you can see here now 25 degrees is the room temperature right now or rather the uh, the outside temperature is around 25 degrees so that's the temperature right now uh, it's come kind of uh, raining and around 25 degrees so we're going to do the test uh, these are the test condition we are just letting our viewers know the test conditions so only fan is running no ac running so let's start the test here so this is uh, you can see here 15 minute uh, test 20 loops so we'll just see here so let's start uh, the test and uh, see how much battery drain happens and also uh, how much uh, um, of uh, heating happens while the test is complete So, so now you can see the throttling test, uh, you can see that uh, CPU throttle to 67 percentage of its max performance. Let's also look at the temperature. So 46 degrees uh, is the temperature on Vivo X200 IFE and uh, OnePlus uh, uh, 13S is 38 degrees so almost 6-7 uh, uh, difference. Here we have 74 percentage of its max performance and here we have 47 percentage so the maximum 47 degrees so the maximum temperature is 47 on Xiaomi 15 and uh, 46 uh, on uh, uh, the Vivo X200 FE while the OnePlus was way cooler at uh, 38 8 degrees and uh, CPU throttle to 74 percentage while this is 69 percentage so 67 74 and 69 percentage that's the throttling test and the temperature rise was uh, highest uh, on uh, Xiaomi and next was Vivo and followed by OnePlus 13s so that was the uh, test now let's uh, see the battery drain 4 percentage battery drain here on Vivo and this is 3 percentage battery drain and Xiaomi you can see here 8 percentage battery drain uh, with uh, the CPU throttling test. So let's uh, uh, allow the device to cool down. Next we will see the stress test of these three devices. So we are completed with the CPU throttling test. Now we will uh, see the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme uh, stress test and let's see how uh, the test results come up. So let's just uh, take the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme uh, stress test. So you can see here 3D Wildlife Extreme uh, stress test. So we're going to perform uh, this test. So once again, let's check the temperature before the test. 31 degrees. Here also 30 degrees, 31 degrees. And here also 30 degrees. So um, almost similar values. So 30, 31 degrees. So that's the, uh, now we'll uh, see the test. So there you go. We have started uh, the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme stress test. So now we have uh, the wildlife extreme uh, stress test 
60.3% uh, stability on the Vivo X200 FE, 70.3% uh, stability on the OnePlus 13S and 72.2% uh, stability and the maximum loop score you can see here has uh, best loop score was uh, on OnePlus 13S, 6165 followed by 6078 on the Xiaomi 15 while this is 4198. So the dimensity 9300 plus is not that powerful and uh, let's also see the temperature rise. Uh, you can see here 32 degrees to 48 degrees on vivo x200 fe now on uh, uh, the one plus 13s you can see here uh, 31 degrees to 47 degrees so almost same uh, increase around uh, 16 to 17 percentage uh, 70 degrees now on uh, the xiaomi so you can see on xiaomi 15 32 degrees to 49 degrees almost 17 percentage here we have uh, 15 uh, or rather 16 percentage and here we have around uh, uh, 16 percentage increase so that's the increase of temperature and fps 8 to 34 20 to 46 and 19 to 44 so one plus 13 and Xiaomi 15 performed very much similar while the Vivo X200 FE was slightly lower than uh, the so the temperature rise across all the three devices was very similar uh, 48 47 and 49 degrees so uh, the best uh, in terms of temperature rise was uh, uh, one plus 13 s now the battery drain 96 to 86 percentage that's 10 percentage drop and here we have 97 to 84 percentage uh, that means around uh, uh, 13 percentage drop and here we have 92 percentage to 78 percentage that means around 14 percentage drop now remember xiaomi 15 also has a lower capacity battery compared to the 13s and the vivo x200 fe so that was the uh, wildlife extreme stress test so stability wise uh, xiaomi wins it with 72 percentage followed by one plus 13s and uh, lowest was 60.3 on the vivo 200 uh, x200 fe so next uh, let's uh, go to the anti 2 benchmark so this is the synthetic benchmark uh, uh, you can actually see here so one uh, rather 18 lakh uh, 16000 uh, is the score on uh, the uh, vivo x200 fe while this is 2 24 lakh uh, or rather 2.4 million on the oneplus 13s and 2.5 million on the xiaomi 15 so xiaomi 15 has the highest uh, benchmark score uh, you can also see that how how massively different the snapdragon 88 is compared to the dimensity 9300 plus so in terms of raw performance the dimensity 9300 plus is no match to the uh, the xiaomi 15 and the oneplus 13s now we can also see that while they're doing the benchmark test eight percentage battery drop here here we have seven percentage battery drop and xiaomi has nine percentage battery drop now gain in temperature 15.8 degrees gain while doing the anti-do benchmark here we have 11.8 degrees increase and uh, xiaomi 15 has 16 degrees increase uh, in terms of the benchmark test while doing the benchmark test you can see here this went up to 45 this went up to 46.6 while this is just 41.8 so uh, oneplus 13 has as the best thermals right now on any device now next uh, let's also check uh, the storage test of these devices so let's uh, check the storage test so once again so you can see here xiaomi 15 has the highest uh, storage value ufs 4.1 24 or rather 2 lakh 49 000, while this is also ufs 4.0 1 66 000, and this is ufs 3.1 with 1 lakh 55 000, uh, value so that's the uh, benchmark now finally let's also check the geekbench results so we already performed the test so there you go so 18756303 and 2864-8645-2905-8757. So Snapdragon 8 LED is more powerful than uh, the uh, Dimensity 9300 plus in terms of the Geekbench test. So, so that is the performance testing of uh, these three devices. So in terms of temperature rise, probably the Xiaomi 15 has a slight uh, uh, higher value compared to the Vivo. 
a while uh, oneplus 13s was uh, way lower in terms of the temperature or other thermal control so thermals are really good on the oneplus 13s in terms of raw synthetic benchmark and the stability and performance i would say uh, the xiaomi 15 had the best values now battery drop was kind of lesser on uh, uh, the vivo x200 fe because it has a larger capacity battery so that was the performances hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day.